Good morning. Good morning. Welcome back to Coffee and the Word. Oh, I'm having green tea this morning. Oh, it's good stuff. Um, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Oh, just got some good news. I, 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 uh, you know, a while back I was having some blood sugar issues and I've changed up the diet and everything. And I just did my blood sugar and it was 124, which that's, yeah, awesome. Good number. I've been riding my bike quite a bit. I've been riding like 20 miles at a time. Oh my goodness. That's good stuff. All right, this morning on the Revised Common Lectionary, we're going to start off with a reading from Psalms, and then we're going to Joshua, and then in the New Testament, we're going to Hebrews. So, let's get started. Psalm 116, verses 1 through 9. And as always, may God bless the reading of His Word. So, here we go. I love the Lord because He has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he inclined his ear to me, therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The snares of death encompass me, the pangs of Sheol lay hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. <clears throat> the Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. All right. Get a little more tea here. And you know what? I've been all right without coffee. I, I think I just like something hot, so... All right, uh, the Old Testament lesson this morning, Joshua chapter 2, verses 1 through 14. And here we go. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent two men secretly from Shittim as spies, saying, Go, view the land, especially Jericho. And they went and came into the house of a prostitute, whose name was Rahab, and lodged there. And it was told to the king of Jericho, Behold, men of Israel have come here tonight to search out the land. Then the king of Jericho sent to Rahab, saying, Bring out the men who have come to you, who entered your house, for they have come to search out all of the land. But the woman had taken the two men and hidden them. And she said, True, the men came to me, but I did not know where they were from. And when the gate was about to be closed at dark, the men went out. I do not know where the men went. Pursue them quickly, for you will overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof and hid them with the stalks of flax that she had laid in order on the roof. So the men pursued after them on their way to the, to the Jordan as far as the fords, and the gate was shut as soon as the pursuers had gone out. Before the men lay down, she came up to them on the roof and said to the men, I know that the Lord has given you the land, and that the fear of you has fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land melt away before you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea before you uh, when you came out of Egypt, and what you did to the two kings of the Amorites who were beyond the Jordan, to Shihon and Og, whom you devoted to destruction. And as soon as we heard it, our hearts melted. And there was no spirit left in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is a God in the heavens above and on the earth beneath. Now then, please swear to me by the Lord that, as I have dealt kindly with you, you also will deal kindly with my father's house and give me a sure sign that you will save alive my father and mother, my brothers and sisters, and all who belong to them, and deliver our lives from death. And the men said to her, our lives for yours even to death, if you do not tell this business of ours. Then when the Lord gives us the land, we will deal kindly and faithfully with you. All right. 
Let's see, next we're going to the New Testament. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 17 through 22. So here we go. By faith Abraham, when he was tested, offered up Isaac. And he who had received the promises was in the act of offering up his son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac shall your offspring be named. He considered that God was able even to raise him from the dead, from which, figurative, figuratively speaking, he did receive him back. By faith, Isaac invoked future blessings on Jacob and Esau. By faith, Jacob, when dying, blessed each of his sons, uh, each of the sons of Joseph, bowing in worship over the head of his staff. And by faith, Joseph, at the end of his life, made mention of the exodus of the Israelites and gave directions concerning his bones. And this is the word of the Lord. All right, here we go. We'll go to the Pray Now app and we'll read the prayer of the day. So let us pray. Merciful Lord, you sent your son Jesus into our world to humble himself by becoming obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Teach us to be obedient so that we might declare with St. Paul that for to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And so that our lives may be worthy of the gospel of Christ, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right. Well, I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. So be safe, be happy, and be blessed. And we'll see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and the Word. God bless. Bye-bye.